Hello everyone, this is Dr. Connor McClure, physical therapist, back at it today with another video. Uh, continuing down our theme of all things youth training, athleticism, and sports development. Now before we get into the video, please leave a comment down below on how funny my hair looks right now. But the video's got to get made, so let's get right to it. In today's video, I want to discuss a topic commonly referred to as early sports specialization. And this is going to be defined as at least eight consecutive months of participation in a single sport to the exclusion of others. And we're seeing a trend in certainly American youth populations of this uh, increasing incrementally over the past few decades. And I'm going to make the case that this is not a trend we should be encouraging for our children. So the problems with early sports specialization can be broken down in a few broad categories, and I'm going to do my best to briefly summarize them. So the problem number one with early sports specialization is going to be increased risk of injury. And now as a physical therapist, this is a topic near and dear to my heart. I see it almost daily here in the clinic. Uh, there is a preponderance of scientific evidence correlating early sports specialization with increased risk of orthopedic injury. Um, there are a few factors playing into this. So I think the first factor is extended periods of time uh, participating in only one sport uh, doesn't give you really a chance for an off season, which is a perfect time to start exploring uh, going to the gym, for example, and doing some formal resistance training, which I have made a previous video about, or playing, right, and going on hikes, or throwing frisbee, or doing some uh, just more variety. Um, another influence for increased risk of injury is overuse. Uh, you can imagine intuitively that uh, throwing a thousand fastballs every week is more likely to wear your shoulder out as opposed to throwing 100 fastballs a week and then also running on the soccer field and then also swimming laps in the pool. What I want to emphasize is that risk of injury is not associated with the sport itself, rather overuse and lack of variety. So I think the second problem with early sports specialization, there are some psychological effects that take place. I think number one is burnout, uh, both on the child and the caregiver. Uh, there's a lot of day-to-day -day time and scheduling burden. Um, you end up getting less sleep because you have to wake up earlier to make more practices, and we know sleep correlates to everything positive. Um, on the other hand, there's also, uh, with organized sport, there's a, there's a strong emphasis on uh, performance-based, success or failure-based goals. Um, there's a lot of sort of feelings of superiority or inferiority, uh, winning, losing, and too much of that, certainly at a young age, can start to have negative impacts on our uh, you know, mental health but then also our relationship to physical activity in general. I think certainly at a young age, physical activity should be fun first and foremost. If we want to promote long-term adherence, we don't want to encourage our kids to burn out on the need to be perfect all the time. As an aside, there's some good scientific evidence that perfectionism is correlated with increased injury risk as well. And perhaps the final category I'll touch on is just expectations in general. I think we have a habit to want to be the best on the field as soon as possible. And we forget that the most important time to be the best at our sport is when it matters, which might be high school age minimum, certainly college, and certainly at the professional level if we get there. It has been well studied and well understood that peaking earlier in life tends to uh, result in reduced performance later in life. So we want to make that curve look like this, not like this. I hope that came out well in the video. Um, there have been some 
polls and surveys done on Division I college athletes and pro athletes, and uh, at least half of them uh, did not specialize in their chosen sport until senior year of high school. Uh, they spent a lot of their athletic development time experimenting, uh, quarterback at football and also a baseball pitcher, and then also uh, track and field in the off season, uh, so they're also super fast, right? In a future video, I plan on discussing a model I like to follow called the long-term athletic development model, uh, which gives a nice blueprint for setting our children up for long-term success in athletics, both, both uh, performance and also reduced injury risk. Um, but to conclude this video, I'd just like to reiterate that I can totally empathize with the desire to watch our children succeed uh, in everything they do as soon as possible. But at least from a sports perspective, it is well understood. Like I said, from an injury prevention standpoint, uh, from a psychological sustainability standpoint, and then also from a, uh, an outcomes and performance-based standpoint, that we should delay the need to, uh, or the desire to specialize in as long as possible. Really emphasize variety, um, development, practice, fun, um, and competing with ourselves more than anything. If you have more questions, please, as always, feel free to leave uh, them down below in the comments section. Please like the video, hit subscribe. Uh, it'll really help boost our channel and push these videos out to uh, more people on the internet. And uh, thanks for listening or watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.